In our last video, we took a look at a plugin called Redirection. In this video, we're going to take a look at a completely different plugin that does exactly the same thing, and it's called Safe Redirect Manager. We'll go to Add New. And here it is, made by Taylor Lovett at 10 Up. Last updated three months ago. Over 10,000 installs. And it looks pretty safe. 10 Up is a very solid company, and I know almost everyone on this list, and I have complete confidence in all of them. So I'm going to click Install Now. And now you can find it under Tools, just like Redirection. Now one of the first things you'll notice is that it doesn't do very much. Redirection had a whole list of things across the top here that it could do. It tracked your 404s, it had modules and groups and all that kind of stuff. This doesn't have any of that. You click Create Redirect Rule, and you can redirect from, to, and a status. And that's it. We have the option here of enabling regular expressions, which allow you to put in only a fragment of the URL and then use some special characters to fill out the rest. If you don't know regular expressions, I recommend you not bother with it. I'm going to do a redirect, just like the one I had with redirection. I'm going to redirect from welcoming negative criticism, welcoming negative criticism. And then you can choose a status code. Most often, I would want to use 301 moved permanently, which says to the world and to Google, that URL is bad and should never be used. Always use this one in the future. And then I will hit Publish. And that's it. Now it's done. We can click the nav again and see a list. It tells us when it was published, the status code, the redirect from and to, and then we could do a quick edit which just allows us to change the date it was published and its status. Now changing status to draft or pending review would make it stop working, which could be useful. Maybe you want it to stop working. And you can trash. Clear this cache is not part of Safe Redirect Manager. It's part of WP Rocket, my caching program. And you can simply edit, which takes you right back to the page you were on before. So this plugin is extremely simple, which could be good and could be bad. It makes it small, it makes it fast, it makes it very easy to use. But if you need some of the functionality that's in redirection, well then you're just going to have to go get redirection because it's not in here. I'm probably going to stick with redirection myself because I like its 404 tracking. That's pretty nice. But there's certainly nothing wrong with this one, and if you like its simplicity then you should absolutely use it. 